Okay, everyone. So I've been doing um, <clears throat> these bottle openers. Uh, pretty inexpensive to do. There's a bottle opener I did. Um, see if I can make me bigger here. There we go. So, and, uh, you know, graphics design on the X-Tool and Lightburn is a little bit uh, different here. Let's see if I can uh, bring my screen back up. There we go. So I got my screen back up and um, people are wondering. Um, I mean, my wife totally disregards when I say I'm uh, I'm <laughs> I'm doing a video. So I apologize if you hear her talking in the background. But, you know, here's some logos um, that I got that that one uh, I haven't done yet. This one right here. But um, I'm just going to let's delete that off. And let's say we want to get a logo. So I open up. Uh, stream well first of all let me close this down because i've got it open close if you're in windows i don't know on a mac but uh you can just start typing snipping tool in the bar down here and pull up snipping tool it's going to bring a little box like that i'm just going to minimize that for right now because i don't need it and we need to find a logo so we want to uh find something um any design, um, any design you want, we could find, uh, I don't know, beer sayings. Let's say beer, beer sayings. You can tell I've already Googled this. So um, we've got a bunch of different art. We're just going to go to images first. And that's going to bring us up this kind of stuff right here. Um and I don't even have my, um, we can scroll down as we're going and find something that we like. This is the one that I had on the screen a minute ago. Um, let's find one we like. And it could be anything, guys. I mean, um, beer quotes bundle. Somebody's got for sale. Uh, usually you click that and it's going to bring you over to something like this. Um, like even this, someone's selling and, uh, close that down. This is off of Etsy. So I could find something. This really doesn't have anything to do with beer. So we'll close that down, close that down. We'll find, a us a beer, something beer. Uh, All right, let's, I like this one. This one might be a little bit difficult because you'll see it and it's got, first of all, it's a little bit light, but you've got these uh, lines running through it. So let's see what we can come up with. Um, actually, let me click my laser on. Click my laser on. And uh, I'm just going to bring up this snipping tool that you just saw pop up and hit new. And you see how the screen's shaded. Now it's got a little crosshair that you just will cut. You'll just go around whatever you want, what image you want. And then you'll hit file, save as, you can name it, uh, beer. Uh, and then just save it. It'll save it as a PNG. Now I've got my downloads to go to a download file so we can, uh, we can minimize that, minimize this, and now I can just open, import a file. Now here's my my logo. I just import it, hit open, and uh, now it's up in, in Lightburn. Now from here, it's pretty easy. You just right click, scroll down to where it says trace image, and it's going to give you this little image right here if you notice all of the little lines and stuff that they've got in the back they don't it doesn't pick those up 
um, at all. So I, I've got this little button down here that says, this toggle that says delete image after trace. So when I hit OK, now let me see if I can change that to a better color here. Let's go uh, with that one. Now it's red. You can read it better. So it's right there. Now, if you don't do this, I mean, there's probably a hundred ways to do this. This is just a way that I like to do it. Um, so what I've done is a couple things here. Um, first of all, let me scroll over here. You'll, you'll see I have a line box right here. So since the X tool, my X tool, it, it has a way of, uh, not, I don't always get it straight. So what I do is I, I lay a piece of wood, an old piece of wood that, um, you know, a plaque or something that was messed up and I use the backside and I'll burn a line in it um, real quick. And that gives me a straight line to set my bottle opener on. And then um, I'll make a square. So like this square right here is on my, uh, I believe it's T2. My T2 line right here is the frame. That is the actual um, layer that um, is just the frame, right? So this is two inches by two inches, which is the size that I need my logo to fit in on my bottle opener down here. Two inches by two inches. That's the size that I've picked to fit in there. And what I'll do is, let me scroll out a little bit is let me just click anywhere click off of that and i'll pick this up and then i know i can size it and i'm not saying this one's going to come out good guys because it might be too much but i size it down to where it's smaller than my two by two let me uh whoops sorry let me zoom in here where you guys might uh might be able to see it better and there's a couple couple things about light burn. Most people, well, I won't say most. I didn't know. Like this green dot, that's where my laser's set to start at. So I want, uh, first of all, let me turn this one off. That's the old one I was doing. Um, I want to make sure that this green dot is right here at the corner of my frame. So when I hit frame, it frames right around here. So this is perfect. And I can just put it over here. And once it's snapped in the middle of that two by two square, it'll it'll turn to a uh, a dot. So that's pretty good. It's like right in you know pretty close to the middle, like right there. So that's in the middle of my uh, settings here. So that comes out pretty good let me uh i actually already have i have been running some of these bottle openers i'm just going to grab one and set it in my on my line where it needs to be um make sure i didn't move my laser which i probably did yesterday um yep i did just a little bit so you do one and get it set up then you're then you're pretty pretty good with it and i'm just gonna hit frame oh all right so it's messing up like i thought it would because of the green line right this green dot right i want this green dot set to right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna try to move all that to right there now that's my green line And I'm just going to square it up right there. And uh, you can move that if you need to, but I don't really need to because I already have it in the software. But once you have that set up, um, I don't want this to be line. I want it to be fill. And the last one I did was 8,085 power. So it's eight. What I'm running the black ones on are, let 
Let me delete 8,000 millimeters a minute. And I'm running that at last one I did was 85. So I'm just going to let me bump it down to 80 for this one and see how it comes out. I don't know. And uh, we'll preview the image. This is what it should look like in the screen. Um, let me frame it one more time just to make sure. Uh, do it one more time because I had to I move my laser head. Move it down just a little hair a bit. That should do it. Frame it one more time. My laser height should be perfect um, because I already had that set up. And uh, I'm just going to hit play button. And off it goes. I believe this is going to take about, well, this is saying a minute and 37 seconds to do these, to do this. And if you, uh, if you draw the line on it, like I've got highlighted in the brackets here, that'll, I mean, once you do that and you've got it set up like this, where the um, green dot is there, let me uh, just zoom it in. Once you have it set up where this green dot is in the corner and you've burned this line on a piece of wood, it'll be straight if you get it centered in this in this frame. And it's not going to burn the frame because it's just a tracing. So that really helps out with the with the setup and getting it where it needs to be. And uh, it says we're at 85 percent. So it should be uh, pretty quick. That it. uh that it goes. Let's see. 95. It probably will run a little bit after that. 99. Dude. So it's uploaded. It's going to finish burning. And then we'll take a look at it. Um, it'll probably be sooty because of the black. Um, but I literally have my X tool on like a card table. So it wobbles and everything. But I find that if I've got that line burnt into the wood that the whole thing moves together and it doesn't affect. All right, it's done. So with this, the main thing I'm looking at is, uh, is the placement. Got a little paper towel action here. Let me uh, stop the screen share there. So right there, perfect, right in the middle. Um, you know, take a little bit of time framing it up, but I'm sure this same process works guys. If you're using wood or whatever, as long as you, uh, as long as you get it square to the machine, a lot of people that I see in the uh, X tool group, what happens is it'll be cockeyed a little bit. And that's because their X gantry is going this way or It'll be straight for a while, and then, you know, they're batching, and they're doing a few, and then all of a sudden, they're, it starts to turn. That's because they don't have – the item they put on there is either moved or they've bumped something. Like if it's on a tumbler, they've, they've moved the rotary, and it's not square. Um, so if you can keep the item square, it's going to um, – it's going to be fine. Now, if I wanted to, I could flip this over. Matter of fact, I will. Uh, let's flip it over and try something. Um, I'm just going to put it. All right. I didn't do anything. All I did was flip it, flip it over and put it back on the line and square it up where it should be. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this image. And uh, actually, what I want to do is I like that image. So what you need to do is come up here to window. Oh, I got to share it. Sorry. You can tell I don't uh, do a lot with uh, with this, except for live streams. Um, add to stream. All right. So here we are. Um, to stop from having to do artwork over and over and over again. Uh, what I'll do is I'll come up here to the window box. I'll click that and come down here to art library. 
and click that. Now I've got art that I've done and put in here and I can save it. So let's say I want to, this bottom button says import graphic from project. I've already got that graphic highlighted on the screen. So I hit that. I can name it, uh, let's do beer. Anywhere. All right. And I'll hit, okay. Well, guess what? Now that beer anywhere is right over here in my in my display. So anytime I want to add this to any project, whether it's a sign or whatever it is, I can go in there and find it in, in the art that I've already got. And uh, like, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to close this out. And I'll go ahead and delete, whoop, click that, click it again, sorry. Highlight it, click it, delete it. So now it's not in there anymore. It's gone. I can come back to window and I can hit art library, click that same one we just had open and add to project. Now I will have to center it up in my square and all that stuff, right? But, you know, you just drag it and center it. And it's in there. All right. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let me uh, delete that out of the project. I'm going to close this down. And we're just going to add, I want to add my name to this. So I'm going to hit that tool. And there you go. My name's Bob. So I'm going to use brush script. Uh, there you go, Bob. Make sure I click on my little pointer. Now I've got this. I can center it. I can size it, I can rotate it. Let's say I wanna do it like this, right? I still, it's still on the same layer over here. This 8,000 by 80 um, fill. Um, if I hit the preview button, that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna take a minute and three seconds. Hit okay, let's go ahead and do it, we'll do it. I won't be able to sell this one, but you know, I'll be able to use this one. And I'm sure you can hear the laser going on the side there. Again, I still have uh, the start point, my frame of where I wanted it to be. So when I hit frame, it, it circles the area it's supposed to be in. And in a minute, we'll have another item. So some of the uh, graphics, when you grab them off the internet like that, will have, you need to zoom in on them because sometimes they'll have little areas like, they'll have little, um, let's stop the screen share. They'll have little items or little circles that it's not like a great graphic. So I'll have to go through there and click it to remove those circles. But other than that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty easy process and uh, gives you the ability to grab anything you want. All right, so this just finished up. So now we've got the uh, logo on one side that we grabbed off the internet. And I added my name on the back. So there you go. Just that easy, just that quick. I think, um, you know, other than talking, I could have, this thing took a, a minute and a half, let's say three minutes total. Um, if I had my graphics already and I didn't have to type and all that, I could have just flipped it over. Could have very easily flipped it over, ran the same image, make a double-sided image. Uh, it's pretty good. So anyway, that's it, guys. I just wanted to uh, give you a quick video on that. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps. And have a good day.